When it comes to northern based artists, you might think of people like L.S. Lowry or David Hockney, but Paul, well, Paul's a little bit different. I went and drew the outline on one, one evening. Yeah. I went back to fill it the next day, and we, basically where I was stood, all the roof fell in. Really? If that had fell on me, I wouldn't be talking to you today. Well, I did an apprenticeship in Accrington, graphic design based, old school printing company. I was there for about 12 years, got the itch to work for myself, and took the plunge, and I started Graphia. I'm not really one for this, being born with a talent, I don't believe in that. I, I be, believe in, if you're passionate about something, yeah, you're born with that, but you've got to practice at it and you've got to work at it. Yeah. Why is it that you throw yourself into it? What, what do you get out of it? The product at the end, I always stand by any product that comes out of here, anything from a baby grow that costs someone a tenner to a pair of football boots that cost 1500 quid I'll put the same amount of energy in, into everything I do. Some of the products that you've done over the over the years which are the ones that stand out for yourself? I did some gold plated football boots they were quite cool and the commission for Nike I'd say but we worked with Nike on a special event called Strike Night mm. which was an underground unused theatre in London and they flew in like eight of the best strikers from around the world and they were like a shooting competition and the winner won my, the boots that I'd made. One of the things that stood out when we were researching the company was the, the mural that you did with um, Burnley, that big oh, Sean yeah. Dyche one. Would you be able to just kind of tell us a little bit about how that came about and the response to it? It well? was a bit of a, a whirlwind, that Sean Dyche thing. Mm -hmm. I remember driving down Westway, is it that road or something like that? And it always stuck in my mind, that, that wall, I'm going to paint some on that wall. <laughs> I just thought I want it to mean something. Yeah. Midnight on the Saturday night, I said, come on, we're going to go and paint this wall white. Did you white. have permission to do it? No. Did you just go and do it? Yeah, we just went and did it. So right. we went up, we painted the wall white at midnight. I couldn't sleep the night before, because I thought, what if it ends up like a claret and blue Homer Simpson? And it just look, doesn't look like him at all. That's him who did that really bad Sean Dyche with yeah. a lazy eye. But, <laughs> but it turned out really well, and, and we got it all done in about eight hours. So I got home and it was like, oh my God, it, I think it hit about 4 million interactions or something mm. on like Facebook and Instagram and it were awesome until council pulled it down. Um, <laughs> as well as developing his own styles, Paul takes a lot of inspiration from the new generation, like Jack, who also works creating some of the designs at Graphia. I love seeing young people like doing something different and mm. just taking something by the balls really. And if we can find more people like that, that want to come in and, and design every day and if they want to have a day of being creative then that's going to help Graphia. Mm. It's a win-win in it. I think from the outside looking in, everyone thinks Burnley's just the old sleepy village where everyone still works mm. in mills. And, but there's loads of cool stuff happening in Burnley. Don't believe what you read. Mm. You know what I mean? Come over and give it a go. Just spend the weekend here and have a look around, do your research on the area. And If you want to go to Manchester, it's, it's only about corner. When I was at school, you used to talk to your careers about bad. And they could say, you know, what do you want to be? I want to be an artist now, don't worry about that. There's some jobs going at an injection moulding factory down there. I'll sort you out, you know what I mean? It's like, hopefully education is changing the way people look at their life. Maybe there is some kids that are going, thinking of going to U UCLan and mm. to Burnley College, Burnley University, and maybe the opportunities they'll have at Burnley will be better than they will in Manchester. Your talent's going to be nurtured more, I think, in Burnley. Mm. You're going to shine, you know what I mean? There's a really good energy about Burnley at the minute. A lot of people say you're not going to make a career out of being good at art, but hopefully I've proved them wrong. <laughs>